We collectively as a country should be talking more about Alabama football. Alabama football. Nick Saban becomes a broadcaster. Kalen DeBoer comes in. They have maybe the best uh, young wide receiver, certainly one of the two or three best wide receivers. You got Jalen Milrow experienced. It's Alabama, and they get humbled. And it wasn't even close. I watched the majority of that game because I stumbled upon it. I even said on Friday, this should be getting more attention. I didn't even give it attention. And then all of a sudden, I hear Chris Fowler. I go, all right, let me hang in here with Herbie and Fowler. Oklahoma was by far the better team. And physically dominating Alabama. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of SEC apologists in the media, and they're going to try to go, well, if I, Alabama, Boise State on a neutral field. That, that's not the way it works, folks. Not the way it works. Alabama would be my fill in the blank. Yes, Seton? We're due for a uh, Nick Saban NIL rant. The, this is exactly <laughs> the time that it would be like, of course we lost. Why do you think we lost? <laughs> Got outspent by $50 million. <laughs> Todd? Do we have an? Are we going around the room again, Paul? Yeah, we have round two of fill in the blank because it's so popular. Okay. Since you brought it up, we're going to go uh, impromptu. Right now, Alabama football is blank. Ooh. I would like to go first since you brought it up. Okay. Right now, Alabama, Alabama football is teetering. Teetering. Auburn next week at home, a pretty decent Auburn team. You lose that. Look, that brand is established. But brands cool off fast, mm. especially with recruiting right around the corner. Y- y- teetering is the word. Okay. But is that at Alabama or yes. is that on a neutral field? Alabama. I thought they play the Iron Bowl. Yeah, they. it's home and home. Oh, it is. Okay. I thought that that was at Auburn. Todd, right now Alabama football is? I initially put low tide. <laughs> low tide. But then I changed it to, to boring. Wow. Alabama football is to boring. <laughs> There's no spice Kalen there. Kalen DeBoring. All right. All right. You're going to have to answer to Heather Dinich. I guess I will. Yes, you will. Seton O'Connor, Alabama football is blank. According to sources who have knowledge from people close to Alabama football, they are, are struggling. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy Jimerson. Marvin, Alabama football is blank. Hot seedish. Hot seedish, and that's really for Kalen DeBoer more than Alabama football. Because if he has one more season like this with three losses, he's in trouble. Hot seedish. Oh, seedish. Hot I thought seeds-ish. you were talking about seeds. No, hot seedish. Alabama football is Sybil-like. Many personalities. Sybil. A lot of personalities in Sybil. Is that a book and a movie? Yeah, old school. it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old you, school. Yeah, you went retro there. I, I know. Like it. I don't know why, but it, it just felt like, who are they? And, and and then you're watching, like you're going, okay, I think I've got them figured. I have no idea. Wait, they're really good against Georgia. Wait, Georgia's coming back. Wait, they can't score points. Crazy. Yes, Paul? They got outrushed 260 to 70 against a 5-5 five and five Oklahoma team. Yeah. Wow. Oklahoma was the better team. Wild. They were. Better team. Absolutely. 